Right guys, I'm back out. Uh, unfortunately not on a dig. Uh, I've cut my finger pretty deep. So I'm not on a dig. I don't want to be getting it infected or out. Getting any muck inside an open wound like. Um, so yeah, I'm out today on a vintage brick hunt. Decided to bring you guys along with me. Uh, just to see if we can find any old Victorian bricks or bricks with names on, with manufacturing names. Uh, this time I'm going the totally opposite way than what I did on my last video on bricks. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you back on first find. Right, we have a couple of bricks here. Uh, what we got? It's got a lot of muck on it. Give me a second, I will clean that off. Right, it's first vintage brick. Allied, A-double-L-I-E-D. Right, we have another one. It looks like it's got a bit of white on top of it. If it's been painted or something, but here we go. LF Co Limited. I've not seen that one before. Right, we've got one here. There's a lot of moss on it. Turn it over, see if there's out on it. Oh, we have got some on it. Some writing. A company name. Let's have a look what you are. Can't really make that out. Is that a H? Hoss. Hostel. Hostel or something like that. Get a bit more moss. Clean that up. Have a look. I don't know if that's it's meant to be a H or S. Can't make that out. Maybe a T, E double L, Hostel, or something like that. Hostel. Right, um, I'm stopping off to show you this site here, these buildings. Um, this is the site of the old copper works during World War I. They employed hundreds of women to manufacture the the shells for the guns uh, and the anti-tank guns um, and this is this is where they were manufactured so yep take me off to them women uh, during world war one well um, while I'm on canal Bit of good news, the water level's down. I might be able to do a little bit of mud larking. There's a little bit of beach area left. There we go. I'm gonna do a little bit of mud larking as well today. Right, let's have a look. We've got a little bit of pottery there. Oh, what we've got here. I haven't got a clue what that is. Oh, look. Here we go. That's an old bottle. That's an old top from an old, very old bottle. It's a shame that one intact. Now we have another one here. Couple of nice little finds there. Piece of pottery. Right, guys, I am buzzing. Can you see what I can see? 
there looks to be a pipe ball buzzing buzzing let's just put that down there look at that oh i'm happy well happy with that crushed it make his way over here onto this little island a little bit of pottery there <laughs> looks modern right I'll bring you back oh yeah what we've got here is that what I think it is? Is that an alien? From aliens? Lollipop alien. That looks to be a yellow queen alien from aliens. Looks like it's got a new job as a lollipop person. Right, found the base of an old, what looks to be a marmalade jar. London, it could be Dundee. Eighteen, wow, that must be established maybe. 1862, that's a nice little find. I might actually keep that. Uh, if I'm painting out, I could put my little paint in that. Use it as a little paint palette. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. Excellent. Right, I don't know if you can see it from here. There, just there. I'm going to have to climb down a little bit. Oop, hope I don't slip. Don't want to be going in there, do I? There we go. So there's an old bottle top the top of a bottle applied lip so it's very old 1800s crushed it well while I'm mudlarking I see a full brick there so I'm going to have a little nosy at that to see if there's out underneath it no, it's a plain one, but I do think it is a very old brick. Probably old. Yeah, probably 1800s. Right, a little bit of pottery in there. Let me see if I can get it. Have a look at it. Oh, it's got a nice little pattern. Oh, I've got all my plaster wet now. That's an old one, an old piece. With looks of it, see how little airline cracks in it. I'm going to move on now. Uh, the couple of fishermen just started to fish on that spot, so I'm going to leave them to it. Uh, carry on with a bit of a brick hunt as well. Uh, there's a little spot at the bottom, uh, a bit further up, where sometimes mud lark. So I'm going to check that out. Hopefully that'll be down, and I'll have a little little go on there. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring you back if I find out interesting. Right, found a couple more bricks here. What have we got? It does say summit, but it's not very visible. That's a totally different brick to that one. Oh, there we go. Whitaker leads. That's a pretty nice one, but I'm pretty sure I've got a Whitaker one at home. Uh, so I don't know, I might not take that one. I'll leave that there. But that's a totally different brick. It, it does say something, but I'm not going to be able to make that out. Right, 
Right, just walking, I've come across this brick. Um, just stuck it flat. So, I think I'm just going to get my trowel out and give it a scrape. See what it is. There we go. Yep, we'll go this way. We all know that one. Very common uh, brick name. Good old Armitage. But I'm going to leave that there and move on. Right, you know when you're walking down a lonely path and then all of a sudden a spider's web just smacks you straight in the face and you go, that's just happened to me. Right, I've arrived at a second mudlarking spot. We've got our list of mudlark. And uh, hopefully we can find some nice items. So, yeah, I'll bring you back on the first one. Right, this first item, it looks to be the Six of Clubs. The Six of Clubs. Right, well, it looks a bit, nice little bit of pottery here. Give it a clean. Gushed it. Right, we seem to have got a little bit of pottery here. Let's give it a little rinse. With a nice flowery design on it. It's a shame that one, Earl. It does look old. It's very old. But yeah, custody. Let's give it a bit more of a clean. Nice. Right, we have top of a bottle, applied lip, stopper still in it. That won't come out. <laughs> Yeah, I can see a, a little bit of pottery there. Let's have a look what you are. Not bad. Right, I found a, some sort of sign. It's, it's not... Um, it's, it's made out of wood, I think. Or some sort of plastic. Uh, but I'm going to try and clean it up, see what it says. Right, it says Domestic Household Supply Co Limited Registered Office. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know, is that a keeper? Would you say that were a keeper? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to take that on. Right, I don't know if you can see it. But here we go. And applied top there look to an old bottle vulcanite stopper from the 1940s maybe a bit earlier it looks like I'm better help him out and I yeah what are you saying here we go there you go I found a little uh Probably vintage, it might have a date on the bottom of it, but I remember them. Right, let's come across this. Uh, this would have been an old one. Uh, I'm guessing that might have said Dridlington, Leeds. What a shame. It would have been a beauty that if that had been hurled. Well, I've um, I found two 
wheel trims, uh, both plastic. We found the Nissan and I found a Vauxhall. And I'm guessing this Vauxhall one may be a little bit older than this one. Uh, I'm not sure. Right, I've found a smaller, I don't think it's a wheel trim, can't be a wheel trim, but I found a smaller Ford plastic, some sort of cover. Uh, maybe goes into engine or something to cover something, I ain't got a clue. But that's pretty cool, that. I like that, that can go in man cave. Yep, definitely go in man cave, that. Right guys, uh, I'm going to call it a day now, get my sent home, get cleaned up and that. Uh, it's been an okay adventure today, uh, hopefully next week I'll be back out on a bottle dig, uh, just waiting for this cut to heal. So yeah, I'm going to say peace out, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next dig.